And I like what he has to say about this. So hopefully this video will work because... According to the New Testament, something quite extraordinary, unprecedented, unheard of, and unimagined happened that first Easter day. It wasn't just that the disciples felt that maybe life was going to go on and it might be all right, perhaps. It was that suddenly they discovered that the Jesus who they'd known to be very thoroughly dead and buried was alive again, and not just alive in what we call a spiritual sense, actually bodily alive. And quite quickly, because being first century Jews, they were used to this framework of thought, they began to put two and two together and say that the God they believed in, who was the creator of the whole world, had begun the work of new creation. The resurrection narratives aren't about, oh, well, that's all right, you go to heaven after you die. In fact, that's precisely not what they're about, because they're about God remaking the whole world, starting with Jesus. Often people preach sermons on Easter Day saying, in effect, oh, well, Jesus is alive again, so he's gone to heaven, and one day we'll go and be with him. That's what Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are not saying. What they're saying is, Jesus is alive again, therefore new creation has begun, and therefore we have